coal chamber. Started a long time ago. Uh, first record came out in 97, I believe. And, uh, out of LA. And we did tons of. Do you have some rest? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I might sneak a little later too. Yeah, alright. Uh, yeah, no problem, man. Uh, did tons of tons of tours back in the day. You know, Pantera tours, you know, all these awesome arena tours. Did the first four Ozfests. You know, we gained, gained some success doing that. Made, made three records, and then we broke up for 12 years. And in uh, 2012, we decided to, to get back together, and we all became friends finally. In the course of the early years, we weren't really friends. Battle, a lot of stuff. You know, went into the crazy drug phase. The typical, what every band goes through, pretty much we went through it. And uh, got back together, and everything's going good. We got the new record out, it's doing really good. And we're playing again, so we're just very excited to be to be playing again. It's hard enough to, to get the first shot that we need in a professional band. To lose it and do it again is pretty, pretty miraculous. Who is, um, I guess, like, who's the idea when you try to get back together after so long? Um, I think, well, we, we did talk, me and Dez didn't talk for at least five years, five or six years, maybe longer. I quit music completely. And uh, once we started talking, we never said, hey, let's get, get the band back together. Let's become friends. And uh, the, the, the band talk kind of happened, like, in 2012. We did a tour in Australia, so I think that that's the front of that, and we were all on board. Uh, but you know, we just wanted to make sure that there was no bad blood from the past right. and all that. And uh, you know, it's worked, it's worked out really well. So, how was your guys' band name created? Um, that was Beats and Dez. One of them like Cole, one like Chamber, they put it together. <laughs> There's really no deep meaning, it's not like about someone's childhood or anything. That's that's what I get from the name. <laughs> so, what would you guys say the main inspiration behind the most recent album would be? Um, just after all the time off, uh, getting over your inner demons, your setting your ego aside, and, you know, letting the opportunity come back to to do the band again. Um, it took a lot for all of us to to just shut up and listen to each other and do this. Again. There was, you know, there was some hatred there. You know, it's just like any ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, whatever, that you end up hating and want dead. <laughs> you know, at one point in time you said you love them and then you want to kill them. It's the same, same scenario, but in the band. And, uh, you know, I think the overall theme of the record is that. And a lot of people counted us out. A lot of people thought if we got back together, we'd do well. We're a product of the 90s and all that stuff. It's, it's doing an amazingly well. So it's not a in your face thing. But, you know, proving ourselves wrong and proving a lot of other people wrong. Right. So now that you guys are back together, what's like the hardest part about going on the I have a son now. Uh, it was 19 months. It's hard, hard leaving, leaving the family. Mm -hmm. It's like I used to be the kid out right. on tour, <laughs> and now I have a kid. So for me personally, that's. But we all have families now. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to love just to tour as one big party all the time. And we've all matured a little bit, and uh, you know, we all have families. So leaving family now is really hard to do. So, what drew you to want to actually become a musician originally? It's just cool. I thought it was cool. I never, I never knew becoming a musician would turn into this shit. You know, I thought it was just like, oh, you play a local party, backyard party. Mm -hmm. be, I didn't know it could turn into a career. Yeah. And, you know, I always looked up to athletes and, and rock stars when I was younger. And I was like, oh, I always wanted to do that. And then I got out of high school. A couple months later, I was on tour. <laughs> so I got, I got lucky. So how old were you when you actually started, like, playing music? 15, 14 or 15. And I got in Gold Chamber when I was 19. 
um, so you guys have the new record Rivals out. So what made you guys decide that you wanted the music video for the song Rivals to be all live footage? We, we just kind of play it by ear. Nowadays you don't really make videos and shit. There's no MTV. And we used to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on videos that get played five times on MTV. And uh, it's just not a thing you do anymore with, with technology and, and how social media is and all that shit. So we, we had people come out and film the show and said, hey, let's put it out. We don't, we don't have like this big grand plan of videos. It doesn't work like that anymore. You know, you're lucky to spend $5,000 on a video these days. Whereas you used to spend 200000 so. I need to steal you. Okay. Oh, we have the sign? Yes. What you said there. <laughs> Don't give me no shit, Siri. All right. So I guess the last question is what, what is next for you guys? Uh, we're just touring, uh, finishing this tour. Uh, we're out on tour of Fear Factory. Uh, this is just a one-off. And then uh, we're taking the rest of the year off and doing it all again next year. So we got plans for Australia and Japan and, and a whole bunch of shit. So. Just touring as much as possible. It's the only way to make a living out here is you have to tour. And it's the funnest part about the business. Mm -hmm. Everything else about the music business sucks. <laughs> it's all politics. And the musical side of the business is about 10%. And 90% is business. And it, it's just stressful and annoying. So the playing on stage is the reason why we're out here. And it's the funnest part of the day. So, so next year we're going to be busy. And then we'll make another record and keep doing it until we fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. Cool. Well, thank you guys.